Now I'd like to show you how to create a set of flight modes using two switches, resulting in four total flight modes. This example can be useful when setting up a scale aircraft with a full house of flight controls. The four modes would be fly, land, mid-flap, and full flap. As you can see, I have removed the settings we did previously, just to start with a clean slate. As before, I'll start on the left-hand side of the tree, as the slots to the left take priority over those on the right. First, we'll need to assign a switch. So I'm going to tap the first box here. Since this will be creating a set of landing modes, I will use the gear switch. Move the switch. In the switch setting, I'd like this mode to be active when the gear is in the up position. So I'll flip the switch up and we'll see on, off, off. So that is correct. Where the switch position is off, it passes priority to the next mode in line to the right. I'll go ahead and name this one fly. Tap OK. This mode will be where you set all the controls for normal flight, such as standard trims and idle adjustments. Flaps function would be set up directly to the flap switch, so they will be available in all modes and not only the landing modes. As I flip the gear switch to the gear down position, you will see it jump over to the far right, so we'll need to assign a second switch to set up our actual landing modes. Go ahead and move to the next slot. Since we're only assigning a few modes, we can stay on the left-hand side. And the most convenient switch to use will be our flap switch. So we'll go ahead and select our flap switch. Tap OK. And since I'd like my first landing mode to be with the flaps up, I will set this switch position for on, off, off. As you can see, with it up, we are in the on position. Tap OK. You can see now with the gear switch down, it moves over, you can see the lines, to what's going to now be our land flight mode. Name this one land. Tap OK. This mode would have any specific settings to landing, such as putting down the gear and activating either steering or braking, um, maybe idle or gain adjustments. Since this will be with the flap switch in the up position, this flight mode will not have the flaps down and would be useful for either a gear pass or high wind conditions landings. If I move the flap switch down, once again we are passed all the way over to the right. So we'll need to set up our second switch in line just to the next slot. Again I will assign the flap switch and for the switch position I would like this to be active with it in the mid position. So off, on, off is what we would like and you can see that in the graphic. Tap OK. And now you can see we have moved over to that next position which we will name mid flap. Since this mode is activated by the flap switch, you will then have any settings pertaining to the land mode but will be modified for the mid-flap position. It can be useful for gyro gain changes uh, or possibly deploy speed brakes or any other landing feature such as lights. This would be useful for touch and goes or moderate wind conditions. So for our final flight mode, you can see, we'll need to assign the next position. Also going to use the flap switch. OK. And since I want this one on in the bottom position, we'll invert this so that it is on, off, off, or off, off, on from the top. You can see that indicated in the graphic again. Tap OK. Now you can see it moves us all the way over to that final position. We'll tap this and change this name to full flap. Okay. Okay. With this mode, you will want to change any settings to adjust for a full flap landing. Typically, this would be similar to the mid flap, but uh, things like higher gyro gain or even a boost in engine idle speed um, would be in the flight mode. This mode would be useful for landing in light or no wind conditions. So now, as I move through the flight modes, you can see the designated modes change at the top of the screen. 
as well as the correlation of movement in the tree. Also notice that when moving the flap switch in fly mode, where our gear switch is in the up position, we do not enter the landing modes. This mode being on the leftmost side takes priority over these, so you must be in the gear down position or this mode off for these modes to be active. From here, you would set up the individual flight mode settings in the functions menu as I demonstrated earlier by changing to the single flight mode designation in the trim and setup menus and modifying the desired parameters for each mode setting.